Well, it's time for another update. In these updates, I show you excerpts from older videos where I bought stuff. Then I break in and update you guys on what things sold for. But in today's video, I picked out about four or five items that I think are a must to pick up if you see them. And most of them, I bet you never heard of. So hang around to the end of this video and hopefully you'll be surprised and make more money when you go out thrifting too. Okay, well, let's get started. The first item I found at this Goodwill was up there on the top shelf. It was this dancing and singing cow. Goodwill had it priced at $5.99, and online you go for around $30. Now, this was made by this company, Jemmy, and I sell a lot of their stuff. That dancing, singing cow was pretty funny. The minute I turned them on, I couldn't stop laughing. Well, I listed them on eBay for $20.95 plus shipping. And within about a week, he sold. So I made a nice profit on them. And I was a little sad to see him go. A few hours later, I saw another Christmas item. It was this brass reindeer Christmas stocking holder. They wanted $4.99 for it. And like I said, on a half price day, how could you pass up on this? I'm going to ask $30 for it. I've been having a lot of luck selling brass items lately. And this reindeer was no exception. It sold within a few days for $21.95 plus shipping. So I'm going to keep picking up brass items as long as brass items keep selling. Goodwill had rolled out a few bins of new stuff. And on top of one of them, I saw this Me So Pretty lunchbox. They wanted five ninety nine for it, and they're selling for thirty on eBay. Why? I don't know, but I do know one thing: they are selling. That me so pretty lunchbox sold for twenty nine dollars and sixty five cents plus nine ninety five shipping. And you know what? I still can't tell you why they're selling, but it did. Well, if I see them again, I guess I have to pick them up. Yeah, I guess you should too. When I got to this next row, I saw something that I really liked. It was this bell. It was made of brass. They were only asking three ninety nine for it. These are sometimes called shopkeeper bells, and online, they go for well over $30. That shopkeeper bell is another example of a brass item that I picked up really cheap, $3.99, and it sold for pretty decent money. $30.95 plus shipping. Now well, you can't beat that. Now remember, I keep telling you guys, if you see brass items out there, at least look up the prices. On this end cap, I saw something I really liked. It was this animatronic dancing bird. They were asking only $2.99 for it. It was made by this company, Schmid. It was also a music box. And online, these are going for $30 and up. Those animatronic birds are something you guys should keep an eye out for. Because some of them can go for thousands of dollars. Mine didn't. But I only paid $2.99 for it. So even though it only sold for $30.56 plus shipping, I was still thrilled. Now remember, keep an eye out for them. Goodwill had put up a shelf in the middle of their floor. I don't know why, but I had to take a look. I saw this clock. It was really pretty. Turned out it was a musical clock. It played 12 different Christmas songs. They were only asking six ninety nine for it, and it goes for 80 online. When I got that Christmas clock home, I realized that it wasn't as in good a shape as I thought it was when I was at the store. So I listed it for $40.95, not the 80 that I thought I could get for it. Well, it's still sold. So to make $40.95 when you only paid $6.99 for something is a pretty nice markup. So I was still really happy. Okay, well, let's get back to the video. Continuing down the toy aisle, I saw this Funko Pop figure. It's Okami from the movie Fantastic Beasts and Where They Hide. 
Well, they wanted nine ninety nine for this, but that's okay because they go for forty online. Now most Funko Pops are not selling that well lately, so you got to be pretty discerning on which ones you want. But when I looked up this Okami figure, it was selling for around forty dollars. So since they were asking nine ninety nine for it, I figured I could make some nice money off it. Well, it ended up selling for a few dollars more than I thought. I got $44.95 for it, plus $10.95 shipping. So, I was thrilled, but you still got to be a little careful with these Funko Pops. They're not selling as well as they used to. I came over to the section where they keep their luggage and bags while I saw this Rydell wine and glass holder. They were asking $3 for it. Red sticker, 25% off. Now, if the glasses were actually in here, this case would go for $200. But even without that, I think I can get 30 for it. You might be a little surprised, but that Rydell bag ended up selling for $45.85 plus shipping. Now, like I said in the video, if it had the glasses in it, it would have went for close to $200. Rydell is a very good glass maker, so keep your eye out for their stuff. A few hours later, up on this top row, I saw this Crown Royal Whiskey Cradle. They were asking $14.99 for it. Now you can use these to display your whiskey bottle or to use it to pour from. They're pretty cool, they sell fairly fast, and they go for $60 online. I'm always telling you guys that if you see these whiskey cradles out there, to pick them up. Well, at least look up the prices, and if they're profitable, pick them up. But most of them are profitable. Well, this one they were charging $14.99, which is kind of up there, at least on the high side for what I usually pay for them. But I figured I'd still make money on it. I got it home, put it on eBay, and it ended up selling for $62.95 plus $11.95 shipping. So, once again, whiskey cradles pay off. If you see them out there, look them up. The next thing I saw, I had never seen or sold before. It was this professional hand warmer. These are used by sports teams in between plays. They wanted $9.99 for this, and online, it goes for $100 and up. I had never, ever seen a professional hand warmer before. I would think you just rub your hands like this if you want them warm. But, no, professionals can afford professional ones. Well, this one ended up selling for $74.95 plus $13.95 shipping. You know, this video's not over yet, but I think I deserve some fireworks. Okay, here we go. Yes, I did deserve them. Okay, now, on to the last item. Over on this aisle, I saw this Chevy Chase National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Christmas Ornament. They wanted two ninety nine for it. And believe it or not, these are going for over 30 bucks on eBay. I want to talk about Hallmark Keepsake Ornaments in general. Most of them only resell for between $10 and $12, so they're not worth picking up. But every once in a while, you can get lucky, like I'll show you in a second. But I just want to tell you, yeah, it's boring when you get to Goodwill and there's 20 Hallmark ornaments and you got to look up each one and they're worth $10, $12, $11. But it might be worth your time and effort because this Chevy Chase one sold for $99.95 plus shipping. Yep, $99.95. So, even if it's boring, you see them out there, look them up. Oh, I get a lot of fireworks for this one. Watch. Okay, guys. Well, I'll see you soon with another update video. Bye-bye.